Well, hello, and welcome to The Willy Good Life. I'm Jennifer Willie, and today we're going to be making ketogenic Valentine's Day cookies. Something you can give your friends, your family, that special someone in your life, or hey, just yourself. Nothing wrong with that at all. They are easy, they're delicious, and they're fun to make. And the best part is they're low in carbs, and they aren't riddled full of sugar and crazy ingredients. It's hands down a delicious recipe. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna start with adding our dry ingredients to a bowl. We're gonna first have one and a half cup of almond flour. That almond flour is going to be blanched and fine. And then you wanna add two tablespoons of coconut flour to the mix. You're then gonna add one half teaspoon of baking powder. And then one teaspoon of xanthian gum and then one third cup of granular erythritol sweetener. I use Truvia. And then you're gonna whisk this together until it's smooth. Okay, now in a separate bowl, you're going to be one egg at room temperature, along with one and a half tablespoons of Greek yogurt. And then you're going to have one teaspoon of vanilla extract and you're going to beat these together. Okay, you're going to add your dry mixture to the wet mixture slowly, mixing it well until it starts to get crumbly. And now we're going to add in five tablespoons of softened butter. You're gonna work this dough with your hands to incorporate it completely. Now for the icing, we're going to mix one cup of confectioner's sweetener. And then we're going to take one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract and add that. And then one eighth teaspoon of lemon juice. Add your macadamia nut milk in one tablespoon at a time. Get away from me Yardstick ball in order Never did much to set me free I got a new cannon mm -hmm. I met a wild companion mm -hmm. I got a new I found gold in the ashtray, honey on the knife blade, I got a new cannon. Brimstone bombshell. When a good boy took his fire pills Living in a spooky time Scared as hell and trying to heal But now I got a new cannon mm -hmm. I met a wild companion mm -hmm. I got a new I found gold in the ashtray, honey on the night. 
knife blade I got a new killer guys so I've got my final product here I have had these in the refrigerator overnight and what that does is that makes the icing nice and hard and it keeps it from being gooey and runny and you know however you want to package these guys or store them keeps you from like any little cute designs you put on these cookies from getting messed up like this design isn't that adorable or this lovely design isn't that wonderful we don't want to put all our artwork at risk by putting a gooey cookie in a bag or whatever so anyways after you have them in the refrigerator it doesn't have to be overnight you can put them in there for like an hour or something like that it should be nice and hard at that point and then you can just give them out to whoever you like it doesn't mess with the flavor it doesn't cause the cookies to be soggy nothing like that they're still just as delicious as when you first made them they're fabulous so anyways, for me, I got these adorable little bags. They're just so cute. Once again, doesn't take much to excite me. And what you will do is you take your cute cookie and then you're gonna put it in the bag gracefully, just like that. I did that so delicate and gracefully. And then you're just gonna squish this together Put a little twist tie on there, and boom, you're done. You give a valentine to someone and they're happy. Anyways, guys, please let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this video and uh, give me some feedback, please. I do appreciate all feedback. I uh, also would like to know if you enjoyed the recipe, if you found these cookies to be delicious as well, and if whoever you gave these out to enjoyed them. I, I love hearing about that in the comments section. And if you'd like to get more content like this, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll get a lot more of this out your way. And I also hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time.